Hello. Hello. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> Happy Friday. Welcome to the Back Catalog Listening Party, a very special Back Catalog Listening Party for those of you who can see us here. Uh, a oh, very, yes. very festive. <laughs> I am uh, one of the co-hosts of the Back Catalog Listening Party, your, uh, your weekly musical happy hour. My name is Anthony Eric. My name is Mother Banjo, and today we have Nate Dungan from Trailer Trash joining us. Hi, Nate. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mother Banjo. Hi, Tony. Hey, Nate. Great to see you. And uh, and happy Friday to all of you. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be pretty festive. We all need a little Christmas, I think, right now. <laughs> yes, Alan's always the first one of the party. Let's Chris, trash the place. Chris says. is a close second right there. <laughs> and like uh, <laughs> yeah, I, all I can say is... Wow, this week. Um, it's been a week. So I think um, uh, I think we all need a little Christmas cheer is what I think. And um, I don't know what you guys are drinking out there. You can shoot us in the comments and tell us what you're having. I made myself a little Christmas cocktail here. Uh, with some, it's oh, cranberry nice. and gin and some lemon. And very excited about it. Very good. Nate, very how about fun. you? Uh, my Christmas uh, cocktail will have to be uh, a little... Libation from Indeed, my uh, my go-to a jam of choice these days is the Day Tripper. So, um, oh. yeah, holiday spirits. That's perfect for 4 o'clock <laughs> uh, for those of us in the central time zone. And uh, I dug out a very special friend here, um, my oh, cup this. of cheer here. For those of you uh, just listening, it's a Santa Claus mug filled with, filled with some sociable cider. A nice kind of nice. winter drink here. Perfect. Excellent. Well, we nice. are really excited to have you here, Nate. And when you decided that y you wanted to pick a Christmas album, I think both Tony and I were like, yes. <laughs> well, yes. actually, at first I was like, what? And then the more I thought about it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what I need right now. <laughs> and I was, a little, I, I was a little concerned. But then I asked my friends and some of the guys I asked, I said, you know, Barbara Mandrell is putting out a Christmas record right now. Dolly Parton's got a new Christmas record coming out. It's already out. They've already announced it. And so then I thought, let's get in the spirit. Why not? Now's as good a time as any to talk about Christmas. <laughs> we you might know... not make it to December, so let's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. let's enjoy it while we can. And also, you know, I've already been in the Christmas spirit because uh, some of you might know that my husband, Ben, actually is working on a Christmas record. So he's been working on it all quarantine, and he just did a photo shoot on Monday. And so we had to break out all the Christmas decorations in our house so that we could like set a Christmassy scene. So I already had everything out and I would be wearing my Santa hat, except it doesn't fit over my headphones. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're really happy to be here. Oh, Steve. Yes, we do need a little Christmas, uh, right this Absolutely. very moment. And, um, so let's dig in. Uh, so first of all, for folks who might not be familiar with trailer trash, um, certainly Minnesotans, I don't see how they couldn't be, but we have a lot of folks <laughs> tuning in from all over the place. So uh, why don't you give us a little like um, two minute bio of you and maybe the band and uh, how it led up to this record? Oh, well, Trailer Trash is uh, a, a kind of an ongoing uh, party that's been evolving for about uh, 27 years now, 28 years now. Uh, we started just as a fun Wednesday night get together for some friends, uh, guys to play music together. And uh, we've been together two, all these 27 years later, we're still having fun doing it. And uh, I mean, it's really, it was really just a chance for guys who had been in all kinds of other bands just to get together and have some fun. And that's really what we're doing. That's it's still, it's still the same way. So we've got guys from different that are in other bands that get together with Trailer Trash to have a little fun and throw down. And at the same time, we always were about the live show. It was always about just playing to the crowd and making it a party. So uh, hopefully that kind of a aesthetic is, is rubbing off. And hopefully that's what everybody <laughs> likes to do. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that you're known for is these holiday shows, the trashy little Christmas shows. Uh, how many have you been doing those pretty much as long as the band has been around? Uh, they started, well, the band started in 1992 at, uh, and, and then we moved to Lee's Liquor Lounge and Lee's Liquor Lounge became our home base. And so our show was always full of topical tunes, novelty ideas, whatever was <laughs> happening, we would do the songs about what was going on. And of course, when it came time for the holiday season, 
then we would switch to holiday songs and we worked up so many tunes that it became the trashy little Christmas show. And so that, as you know, that the, it just sort of became a show unto itself. <laughs> and uh, it, it took on a life of its own. And uh, so we've been putting out records now. I guess we have four Christmas albums and uh, it really is uh, it's a high powered Las Vegas style performance show it's it's a uh, it's a lot of fun and for those of that don't know your music you have a, some honky tonk and some classic country and some rock and yeah. roll and can you talk a little bit about kind of the influences that kind of came together in this band and then how you you know use that to kind of channel your christmas spirit yeah um trailer trash plays uh classic country vintage rock and roll so it's uh Johnny, George, Hank, Merle, Lefty, Buck Owens, Paycheck, uh, you know, all that uh, honky-tonk stuff. Basically what I would call uh, VFW music, uh, because that's the scene that we came from. We had all played in VFW cover bands, and so we just thought, why not do it downtown? And that's what <laughs> it became. Um, and so that opened up to include a lot more now. I mean, we, we'll do polka tunes, and we'll do... Uh, the British pub rock type tunes and, uh, you know, a, a whole swirl of genres and styles. Uh, you know, it's really about playing with the crowd and, and giving somebody uh, a show, you know, something that they came to enjoy. You know, it's really not about us. We just have the fun of putting the show on for the crowd. Nice. Awesome. Thanks. Well, uh, let's get into a bunch of folks joining us, uh, Connie and Charles and, uh, Bevan and Linda from Litchfield, Connecticut, um, all wishing uh, people season's greetings, and uh, which is probably See, the most appropriate thing to say. Whatever season we're in, we don't yeah, know. If it's you know if it's between <laughs> if it's between Halloween and uh, and Thanksgiving, then it's totally off limits. But before that, man, yeah, let's 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 do it upright. Right. And Penny's yep. uh, joining us from Northfield says she better go grab a drink. And yes, you better because and buckle up because we're going to have some pretty <laughs> fun tunes uh, happening today. So um, we want to squeeze in as many as we can. So uh, there's the cover Crazy for Christmas. And this <laughs> was released in 2019. And uh, so not too far in the back catalog. And uh, but an album I'm pretty excited to dig into. And the first track, Nate, that you have picked from this album is I've shopped everywhere. Is there anything you want yeah. to say about the tune first, or you just want to dive in? Many thanks to Johnny Cash for inspiring this song. <laughs> As you'll see right away, uh, Johnny Cash uh, did his version of the original Hank Snow, which actually was taken from an Australian guy who wrote the original tune back in the 30s or 40s. Oh, so well, I have to that. think there are probably uh, at least, what, four or five dozen, maybe a hundred versions of this song with everybody throwing in their own words and that's what i did came up with <laughs> our own words awesome uh and this is a a version like you've never heard before folks uh this is trailer trash i've shopped everywhere on the back catalog listening party oops <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> now it is. I've the shopped Bible everywhere. Cruising there we go. On the aisle of a big old department store. I didn't know just exactly what I was looking for. When a bright eyed, bushy tailed kid said, Can I help you, sir? I said, Well, I'm just looking for the perfect gift for her. He said, Have you tried a box of chocolates from the candy stand? I said, I've been to every shop and every store in this here land. I've shopped everywhere, man. I've shopped everywhere, man. I breathe that still ball air, man. I'm pulling out my hair, man. Now my wallet's bare, man. Cause I've shopped everywhere. I've been to Walmart, Kmart, PetSmart, Quickie Mart, Speedy Mart, Sports Mart, Home Depot, and Menard, Sands Club, Target, Costco, Best Buy, JC, Penny, Macy's, Snyder's, I love the modulator.
Next year, they're all gonna get black socks. All right, <laughs> that was Trailer Trash. I've shopped everywhere. And wow! From their Crazy for Christmas album, it came out last year, and um, I love not only all the modern, updated references about going online, but all the local references about all the different malls you went to and shopping. Yeah, for those centers. listening, not a lot of Minnesota uh, shopping um, locations. Some still in business, <laughs> some not. Uh, right. <laughs> I know, it's not in business. That's that shows how long we've been doing that song. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, a couple of them are still around, and I've had to change the words on a couple of them on a, uh, to update it and make it current. Uh, for the most part, they're still there. Uh, but yeah, Ridgedale, Rosedale, Nicolet, Southdale. <laughs> now, do you have a cheat sheet when you re- when you sing this song? This is one of those songs I think as a as a performer that I you know like I always imagine you have to have a teleprompter or something on stage to to, right? to get all these words in. Do you have that in your head? Is that all up there? No, uh, it's all in the head now, it's all, and it's muscle memory. But I think the best the way to learn it is to learn it, bring the cheat sheet into the shower, and sing it in the shower. That's what I learned. <laughs> that is great advice. And uh, for those of you that are interested in doing your uh, holiday shopping early, um, in uh, in lieu of a of a tip jar, you just go buy this record, um, get the holiday uh, shopping done early. The 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 CD fits nicely in uh, in stockings, um, and uh, and the music sounds sounds great all year all year round. Oh, there it is. There it is. And for those of you who won't be able to enjoy, you know the. The, the full in-person trailer trash experience this year as as they normally can for the trashy little Christmas shows. This is a great way of sharing it with your friends and family. And uh, today we are getting in the holiday spirit on the back catalog listening party and digging into this, uh, uh, what you said, the fourth of, of uh, holiday album that Trailer Trash has put out. And the band has had lots of different, uh, obviously members have come and gone being around as long as you have been. Um, on this particular record, uh, who's the cast of characters that are on Crazy for Christmas? Our current lineup. Uh, let's see. The uh, four fellows that have been with us the longest are uh, Randy Broughton on Pedal Steel. That's Tyrone, as everybody affectionately knows him in our band. Uh, so Randy Broughton on Pedal Steel. John uh, Duncan, Jonathan Bird Duncan on piano, keyboards, accordion, and organ. Um, Keely Lane playing the drums. Uh, myself, uh, and then our bass player is Steve Price, and our guitar player, our uh, hotshot lead guitar player is Randy Anderson. So uh, that's the sixth piece. Uh, yeah, and this record is really reflective of the new uh, band, the, the way the band sounds these days, and uh, you know the kind of the variety of music we do. Uh, everybody gets a word in. Everybody gets a piece of the pie in this in this record. <laughs> Yeah, and tell us a little bit about how you uh, recorded it and where you uh, recorded the album, because it does kind of capture the live energy of the band really well. Oh, thank you. The uh, We recorded it at Dave Russ's studio uh, in South Minneapolis, live in the studio as a group. So there's very few overdubs. Uh, and then we do have some live tracks that were recorded at Lee's and at the Turf Club. Was that one? I thought I heard some cheering there at the end. Was that one live? Yep, I think that one was recorded at the Turf Club. All right. Nice. <laughs> Even more impressive. Yeah, it sounded <laughs> yeah. great. Good. And, uh, and tell us a little bit about uh, the cover for this album, because um, it's interesting, because... <laughs> 
Uh, there's uh, Christmas. I don't know what's Christ- going on over there. I don't know. The elf on the shelf uh, uh, just had a little too much to drink or something. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, yes, a live show, folks. Oh yeah, and um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the cover. You have you have kind of like a Charlie Brown oh, Christmas tree is. happening on it. Yeah. Yes. This particular cover, this lily cover, was laid out by our good friend Chuck Hermes. Oh, and Chuck, the photograph yeah. was, yeah, Chuck Hermes from Clockwork. And our pal Steve Wolf took the photograph. He did a terrific job um, and provided this wonderfully pathetic little Charlie Brown tree in the middle. <laughs> and there it is. It. Well done. You did a nice job. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, that's our. Lovely little Christmas tree. Yeah, because Steve Wolf did a great job of putting that whole thing together. I love it because it just captures the like the humor and the um, energy of what you guys do. And um, yeah, I would say this, like all your holiday music, uh, this album is just it kept it's something different for folks who are like sick of the same old same old christmas stuff <laughs> this is a right? chance to create something really fresh to the mix <laughs> absolutely i i've been I've, yeah this is definitely going in rotation i hadn't heard this this album before but uh, oh great this is, this is definitely going in rotation yeah well good sure. i mean that's that's the whole idea because christmas is a time of uh there's you know so emotional there's, it's a time of great expectations people are looking forward and you have all these wonderful Christmas songs that are played year after year after year. And, you know, I can't do Mel Torme. I can't do Nat King Cole. But what I can do is reinterpret some of the old classics and, and you know, maybe write a new one now and again. You know, that's the best we can do. Right. And uh, we have this next song we have queued up, The Ugly Christmas Sweater Polka. <laughs> and oh, yeah. um, I have to ask, um, do you... Uh, are you a fan of the ugly Christmas sweaters? Do you uh, do you oh, guys have any yes. comp- do you have competitions in the band? I know you guys always dress up really well for all your shows, but especially the Christmas shows. Um, uh, you know, is there any competition happening? Like I'm gonna ug- out ugly you with my sweater. Oh well, that would be hard to do because uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's no limit. Uh, that's a slippery slope. Um, We've done some ugly Christmas sweater contests at, at the Trashy Little Christmas Show, before. Uh, and that's been fun. That's been a great time. Mostly it's a free-form, uh, what would you call it, uh, uh, a, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, a free-form, full-wind, uh, crazy show that the people put on. The people who show up <laughs> are legendary. That's what's really fun. Uh, it's a free for all. That's what I was trying to say. It's a Christmas free for all, with everybody dressing up. I don't know if you've got the graphic to the inside of the tray card. If you, I don't have you that have one a... handy. Sorry. Okay, it's a typical. It's the inside. Hey, you know what? I might have it right here. I could just pull this out and show a typical shot. This is kind of what it looks like at a Christmas show. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, there's some crazy dancing happening over there. I see on the side. <laughs> there um, usually is. Yeah, and I will say that's true with all of the tra- uh, trailer trash shows, Christmas or no, is that I'm always impressed at how many folks come out to really dance to the music. Is like and good dancers, not just my crazy. I've had a beer or two dancing. No, but, these are uh, world class. No, dancers. like really great country world swing class. dancers. Yeah, really great. So. Oh, and and not just the ballroom dancers. I mean the snake on the griddle dancers and the the you know uh, Twyla Tharp interpretive dancers and <laughs> all kinds of dancers are welcome at a trailer trash show. You don't have to go take a lesson and learn how to swing dance, but that is truly you know um, one of the most amazing things about the show is just the crowd and the dancing. It's the uh, community it's you guys build. Yeah, you guys yeah. You have something very special with the uh, audience that you've you know nurtured over all these years, and I think right now more than anything that's what we all are missing and longing for and so i just want to just say if you're out there and in a space where um (laughs) where you can uh cut the rug a little (laughs) bit i'm gonna say crank it up and uh maybe join in on the ugly uh christmas sweater polka and uh and we will know in our hearts that uh that the dance floor is out there um even in just in spirit and if you guys are dressed up in christmas sweaters or have great photos of you dancing during the show you should you should um share them with a, with us later on facebook and stuff because we'd love to see 
how you're getting your Christmas on uh, today during the back catalog listening party. Right now we're going to polka. So if you know how to polka, this might be the opportunity. Um, the, the ugly Christmas sweater polka. Is there anything you want to say about this song, Nate? Yeah, this was inspired by all the crazy Christmas sweaters. I mean, Christmas now they've almost become uh, old hat. But as you recall, they were quite the rage. And uh, so we had to do something to acknowledge that. And uh, so this song has a little bit of a leader, too. There's about eight seconds of crazy studio yelling that goes on to kick it in. So don't be surprised if you hear, you're going to hear Mo Randy yell, let's go, with three of us, and four. <laughs> so much fun. All right, folks, this is Trailer Trash, Ugly Christmas Sweater, Polka on the Back Catalog Listening Party. Something cool, he got clothes for school. Every Christmas day would end in tears. He had to get their goat. He wrote a Christmas note. Said Santa, won't you please help me out? Bring me something cool to celebrate the Yule. A fashion statement that will knock them out. He got a wacky, tacky, ugly Christmas sweater. Aliens in a major scene, a high style holiday fashion crime. It was a flashy, trashy, ugly Christmas sweater. Red and gold, pink and blue, you wish you had one too. When his ugly Christmas sweater wearing time. with uh, Ugly Christmas Sweater Polka from their 2019 release, Crazy for Christmas. And Nate Dungan joining us from Trailer Trash. Uh, so happy to have him joining us today. Oh, it's great to be here. Trash backdrop. Yes, <laughs> terrific. Great to be here. And, I saw you, and I'm so glad that you were pointing out during uh, the song uh, the different uh, band members and your furry friend, by the way, who you should introduce. Right. Hopper. This is Hopper. Hopper. Oh. Awesome. Hopper. They had the folks at home, Hopper. Hello, buddy. Hi. <laughs> yep. Um, and uh, d during the yeah. song, you were pointing out the different band members that were soloing, uh, like Tyrone and all the folks. So, um, yeah, some great. I think that song really showcases what your band is so great at. I mean, such great players and uh, just really tight playing. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, inspiration does wonders. Uh, what can I say? I mean, it's uh, our, uh, I think it's just, we, you have to have something to 
inspire us, and then I, otherwise we do something different every time. You know what I mean? It's it's a matter of uh, keeping our own imagination interested. I mean, that's we'll never play the same song once. <laughs> <laughs> That. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. So, so I got to ask, you know, with a band like yours that it really thrives on the interaction of crowds and being with others and, and the dancing and stuff like that. Um, how are you guys adjusting to this kind of new world order here um, during COVID times? Have you guys been getting together, putting on uh, any sort of social distance kind of shows, anything like that? I'll be honest with you. I'll be totally point blank honest with you. We have done nothing. Absolutely nothing. We have decided. I mean, I think after 20 some odd years of doing this, it was actually weirdly good. You know what I mean? Sure. Just sort of sure. take a little sit, take a breather and, you know, just really focus on our family and friends and, you know, just and our little things that make us happy, you know, and <laughs> not. But now, who is and, this? You got who, this is Hopper? Is that? Yeah. That's Hopper. Hopper, over here. Can you say hi? Over here. And he's, there's a squirrel to... outside that he's paying attention to. Um, so, yeah, we have uh, done a few uh, trashy little parties of our own. We get together with our lovely trashy lady friends. And uh, thankfully, all our wives and girlfriends get along and they have a great time hanging out together. And we are so fortunate to be a little trashy family that just gets together for the sake of having fun. That's As, great. I'll say this, uh, honestly, you guys, and you know this, uh, I'll say this to any musicians watching, the whole key to being in a band is being able to get along, you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's funny you say and, that, because that's what I think a lot of us are missing the most. And that's why kind of we started the Back Catalog Listening Party, is we actually, more than, I mean, of course, we all love playing music together, but really I'm missing the camaraderie of our bands and, and, and what we get to do when we play together. And um, so it's it's great to reconnect with our fellow musicians in this platform. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep, yeah. That's the key. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we're looking forward to doing uh, some rehearsals. Uh, we're probably going to get together and uh, work up uh, a few new tunes for the Christmas shows coming up in December. And we're going to do uh, we're going to do a Halloween show. So we're going to rehearse for that. Okay. Um, that can, yeah, that'll be fun. But, you know, it just didn't feel right to do, um, for us, it just felt good to take a break. Yeah. So that's kind of what we did. So you are kind of moving forward with some trashy little Christmas shows. It sounds like we, I, I said shows, but unfortunately it's just going to be one. We decided we used to do, as you know, a little mini tour, uh, where we would play a series of halls and bars and theaters and whatnot. And now we've got to scale it back just a little bit. So we're going to do a trashy little Christmas show at the Hook and Ladder on December the 12th. Oh, so Saturday, nice. December the 12th, one live stream Christmas show. And we're looking forward to it. And we're going to set that up with a trashy little Halloween party that's coming up on Saturday, October 31st. Uh, Halloween night, uh, we're going to do a super spooky trailer trash Halloween live stream performance nice. that sounds awesome and for folks who don't i mean this one of the things that's so great about this is that means folks who are tuning into back catalog today from all over the country can enjoy uh the trashy little christmas show and the halloween show uh from their own homes and again that's if you go to the hook mpls.com you can find out info and get tickets to those live stream events and it will be a they, great and way they, to celebrate. They've invested quite a bit in making these really professional and yeah, great. It's video. really well done. So yeah, you guys definitely want to check it out. I'm going to be tuning in. That's not, what remind me that the the December date again. Just think twelve twelve Saturday 12, 12. December twelfth. Yeah. All right, I'll be there. Great. And um, I, I wanted good. to I wanted to know when you were recording this record. Whenever you make a holiday album, again, you're often recording in the summertime or, you know, not around Christmas time to get it out in time for the holidays. Um, do you guys do anything to get in the holiday spirit other than obviously play the tunes? Is there any, you know, do you put on the ugly sweaters? Do you try and like, <laughs> well, you know, set the studio to make it feel get like Get in the Christmas mindset. Day? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we invoke the spirit of Abraham uh, and the uh, jingle stick 
and we <laughs> sit in this in a circle and light a candle and rattle some bones. That's what we generally do. Excellent. Well, we, so, yeah. <laughs> somebody mentioned this jingle, jingle stick. I'll put that comment back up there. Tell, can you tell us a little bit about this? I saw you had it over there in the side. What what is what's going on here with the jingle stick? Well, it might scare the dog, but I'll bring it out just just to give you a, just a little bit of a glimpse of what it looks like in real life. This is the legendary jingle stick. Uh, <laughs> I want to know more see, about this. I want to know. <laughs> well, the jingle stick is a sacred instrument that is uh, it's, it's it's otherwise known as a boombox or a cadill hopper. Uh, it has a tradition going back to biblical times. Uh, this is our version of it, and you can see just what the what the uh, kids have done to it. It's missing some bells. It's just horrible. With the, it was violated in so many ways last Christmas <laughs> by our fans. You can see uh, it's still holding up, though. Excellent. It's got a protective foam cover so that we don't, uh, you know, have to go to the ER after playing with the jingle stick. Um, <laughs> it's a noisemaker, you guys. Um, but in reality, <laughs> this is a interactive party toy. And sacred artifact. Yes. And sacred artifact, right. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. There was a jingle stick in the Old Testament. I love uh, it. it. I handed, love it. It was handed down. It was, the, you know, the sky opened up. Uh, Abraham came down with the jingle stick and he handed it off to David in the temple and it's been passed forward ever since. You know, it, it, it goes back. That's why we're, Trailer Trash is uh, omni-appealing uh, to all creeds and colors, races, walks of life. Uh, it's a Judeo-Christian, uh, uh, multi-ethnic uh, approach to celebrating the, the Yuletide spirit. I love it. We I love, love it. it. That's great. And that one there is, is well, actually descended from the original, I can, I can tell. Uh, no, actually, this one, this one, Anthony, this is originally a Ford hubcap that I built. <laughs> That's so cool. It showed up in my front yard one day. It was in the boulevard. It, it, was, it popped off a car. I saw it, and I said, it's a sign from the universe to yes. make the jingle stick. That's what. Uh, well, that's and that's what I love about holiday everything. You know, like we 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 lose touch. I think a lot of time in our kind of fast paced culture with with ritual and with symbolism and with things like that. And it doesn't have to be something that you know. It doesn't have to be stuffy and boring. It can be an old hubcap at a trailer trash show. Um, but it, it's meaningful. That's super cool. It's I love magical. That. It's it's got magic power. It can transform an ordinary suburban housewife into a rock star. <laughs> I love it. It happens. We've seen it. it happen. That's awesome. Well, uh, thank you all for joining us today on Back Catalog Listening Party. As we get into that holiday spirit, channel those ancestors with the jingle stick and get in the holiday spirit with Nate from Trailer Trash. We're exploring the 2019 release Crazy for Christmas album, which actually, um, I think I saw you post on somewhere on social media nate that this is the is this the only christmas album that's available now on this is the only one that's still in print yeah, yeah. um so so if we... you want to get in on the trashy little christmas this is the album to get so uh and we're going to explore another track from it right now we have santa says keep it cool and oh yes anything you want to say about this song santa says keep it cool you know um uh yeah, this is the one and only Christmas song that you'll hear anywhere that has to do with Santa Claus and climate change. <laughs> I love it. And now, now the problem with I know it's 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 a really uh, it's a difficult subject, it's a touchy subject for a lot of people. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's a heck of an icebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> ba dum bum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a drink. Great ice, it's a great icebreaker at a party. All yeah. right. Well, here it is, folks. Santa says, keep it cool from Trailer Trash on the back catalog listing party. Keep it cool 
He's taking us back to school Santa's showing us the way For the earth to breathe another day He's got reindeer to pull his sleigh Santa says keep it cool <laughs> Now Santa Claus, he ain't no fool It's the North Pole, not the North Pool Santa's elves won't have time to stop When the water starts to fill their shop Let's hope that the temperature drops Santa says keep it cool the lights if you want to see him Christmas night Santa will know if you're naughty or nice by looking out at the polar ice And don't you make him check it twice Santa says keep it cool <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, take take that, Michael Bublé. Um, that was uh, trailer trash with Santa. Keep it cool. And uh, oh wow, I love that the line about you know Santa will know whether you've been naughty or nice <laughs> by looking. Oh my gosh. And the stakes are pretty high there with uh, yeah. you know Santa not might not even make it. I mean, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I feel like it's what it, what this song yeah. does is it really channels the. That, that sort of those Nordic traditions of the kind of evil Santa, you know, the the <laughs> Krumpus. Yeah, Krumpus. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like I feel like he's gonna come get you if you're not nicer to the planet. Yeah, and it's true. I, I love it. It's so great. And tell us, like, what inspired that song? Uh, that song actually is a collaboration with a great friend of ours in Nashville, a fellow, an ex-Minnesotan, uh, a fellow by the name of Tom Mason. Mm. Uh, and I collaborated on that little number. And uh, he is a wellspring of a ton of original thoughts and ideas. He's a really great songwriter. And he just put out a really great Christmas album of his own called Under a Mistletoe Sky, which is great. I just heard it for the first time a couple of days ago. And so he's got his version of the same song on there. Nice. And uh, cool. yeah, it's great. It's really great. It's totally different. He came up with a Calypso version. We came up with the <laughs> West Side Story version. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Well, that ties right yeah. into a great question we just got here from, from Chris. Uh, are these songs all original? Who is slash are the songwriters? And uh, are you writing during these times? Those are questions we had as well. 
That's a very good question. Thank you, Christopher. And uh, that particular tune is an original song uh, that, uh, as I said, is a collaboration, a co-write with me and a guy, Tom Mason. Tom Mason has a wonderful act, a wonderful band called the Blue Buccaneers down in Nashville. And uh, they're the world's only pirate band. One of the world's uh, <laughs> nice. few right, uh, pirate bands. So anyway, he just put out a new record of Christmas music. Uh, called Under a Mistletoe Sky, and that, that's one of the songs that Tom and I came up with. Uh, the one before that, uh, the song about the uh, Christmas sweater, the ugly Christmas sweater, that's mine. All mine. I made it up all by myself. <laughs> one day I saw it blowing down the street, and I grabbed it and put it down on a piece of paper. <laughs> nice. And are you writing much during these times, or are you just enjoying the break and uh, getting to lay low a little bit? Oh, you guys, I'm a, I am love writing songs, but I'm a slow writer. I'm so slow. I, I really admire these people that can just sort of shrug their shoulders and a, another song spills out of their fingertips. You know, they just are so prolific. And for me, I get inspired and then I have to go back and rework it. And so, uh, yeah, I've got a few songs cooking. I've got uh, just came up with another one called Drinking and Dancing. That's going to be a uh, part of the trailer trash uh regular show which sounds uh, but i wish i could like write more it makes, it makes it sound like it's just the quarantine coping song drinking and dancing <laughs> we started right with my friday nights um <laughs> exactly. getting started here on back yeah. catalog um and then uh we also i saw that pete gave you your first halloween request for your uh halloween live streams so i saw that too watch. so pete sandwich awesome. thank you pete great request yeah. season of the witch yep yeah good idea so yep. do you have like a show for every every um, holiday? Do you got like a <laughs> Arbor Day? <laughs> yeah. Do you have like an Arbor well, Day uh, spectacular? You know, it's all topical. That's right. Uh, you know, it's 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 part of our our approach to try and fit the scene or fit the mood. Uh, we never really do our show like you're gonna get the same eighteen songs no matter what because that's the show. We always try and make it appropriate or. Uh, figure out some little angle to connect with the crowd, um, you know? And so, yeah, for a Halloween show, we'll probably end up doing the Scooby-Doo theme, the Monsters theme, Monster nice. Mash, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, ghost stories, you know, Long Black Veil, nice. uh, songs about murder, you know, yeah. stuff like oh, that. Man after my own heart. I love I love it, man. I, I ask that only because that's yeah, I totally get it. And there, uh, you mentioned this idea <laughs> that like th these things connect people and that again ties into that community aspect of it. You know, it's like everybody can kind of relate, you know, and when you put on, you know, play the Munsters or something like that, it's uh, it, yeah. I don't know, it takes on a life of its own. Exactly. Well, and that's what we try and do. I mean, any time we do, we wind up making it danceable. And we make it somehow it just winds up being our own. I mean, we, everybody, we've all been in bands that uh, wanted to make it sound like the record, you know, like, Ooh, that sounds really good as if that's the definition. <laughs> and I always thought that it's pointless to try and do that because you're going to sound like yourself. There's no way you can't sound like who you are. So you might as well just make it your own. I always like, uh, I like, oh, versions of the original that take it in a new direction you know mm -hmm. i always mm -hmm. that's kind of fun so uh, sure. i always like devo's devo's version of satisfaction yes you know? uh, great example <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean no yeah they just they made it devo yeah that's great. yeah exactly um well, if folks uh, are joining us here on the Back Catalog Listening Party and live and you want to have thrown any more questions for Nate or any of us on this episode as we delve into the Christmas music, feel free to and we'll try and get as many of them answered before the end of the show as we can. And uh, let's try and squeeze in as much as we can for the music. Uh, next one is Christmas Must Be Tonight. Anything you want to say yes. about this? Great song. We dug this one up off of uh, uh, Robbie Robertson wrote mm -hmm. this from the band. Love this song. And, yeah. Yeah. And Mo Randy Anderson found this song. So Randy Anderson, our guitar player, uh, he discovered this song, dug it up, and he made it his own. He plays the, the great guitar solo on it, too. Excellent. Awesome. Well, let's give it a, let's give it a spin. This is uh, Christmas Must Be Tonight by Trailer Trash on the Back Catalog Listening Party. Oh, 
Come down to the manger See the little stranger Wrapped in swaddling clothes The Prince of Shepherd on a hillside Where over my flock I buy On a cold winter night A band of angels sang In a dream I heard a voice Saying fear not, come to choice It's the end of the beginning Praise to the newborn <laughs> a simple herdsman such as I And then it came to pass And he was born at last Right below the star that shines on high Yeah, how a little baby boy Could bring the people so much joy The son of a carpenter Ooh, good cover. Oh man, that's a true rock arena yeah. ending. I love it. And <laughs> and I also love that you know that it is a Christmas song, that Christmas must be tonight because of the jingles, of course, uh, at the exactly. end. Exactly. Very and, important. Yeah, and uh, that song, uh, again, originally done by the band, uh, but recorded in a totally new way by Trailer Trash on their album Crazy for Christmas. And I have to say... I, I know the original of that song, and it's a t yeah totally different tempo. It's more kind of slower and soulful, you know, has that you know the Levon Helm swing to it, and this yeah. and this is like straight up rock and roll, and it's so much <laughs> yep. fun. Yeah, yeah, man, you guys can pick. There's some fantastic <laughs> guitar work. Can you remind uh, the listeners who who's doing that that amazing guitar work on this couple different That's, folks there? Yeah, thank you. That's uh, our friend Randy Anderson on lead guitar randy anderson and the steel solo after that is tyrone randy broughton mm -hmm. so we have two randys in the band randy anderson on the first and then randy broughton so we've given them both nicknames so because we can <laughs> have two randys you say sure. randy take a solo then they both start soloing <laughs> so so randy broughton's name is tyrone and randy anderson is 
the second Randy. So he's one Mo Randy. So we call him Mo Randy. I love it. I love it. Well, man, that's some some world class picking right there. Really. Well, thank you. Stuff. Oh, it's great stuff. And uh, thanks so much for joining us today on Back Catalog. Uh, this has been so much fun to get in the Christmas spirit. Uh, I think, wow, I don't, I'm speaking for myself here, but I I really needed this this week. <laughs> I need I need joy. Awesome. I need uh, I need good cocktails. I need the dancing. I need all of it right now. So yeah, the jingle uh, stick. I needed right, that. Yeah, the jingle stick. Exactly. I need the spirit of a jingle I stick all year round. Those and, are sacred things. Those are sacred things. And the the, the ritual, the tradition, the hallowed tradition is a sacred thing, too. Something that yeah. everyone gets together. And it's something we can all look forward to. And that keeps us all going. You got to have something to look forward to. Yeah, we do. And uh, one of the things to look forward to is, again, uh, Trailer Trash is doing a Halloween live stream from the Hook and Ladder coming up. And then also uh, a big trashy little Christmas show. It'll be a trashy big Christmas show, I think, yeah. this year because it will be the only yeah. one. And you can stream <laughs> them and you can find out more info and get tickets at thehookmpls.com. I like find, that. And you can find out if they'll do Season of the Witch. So you'll have to tune in to find out. <laughs> and... Um, Let's try. I think we can squeeze in one more song Let's before do it. we have Let's to do go. It. Uh, this is okay. Christmas by the Pool, which I think feels a, although it might be a little cool in Minnesota for the pool right <laughs> now, but maybe for Alan in Texas, he might be hanging out by the pool today. So, uh, yeah, is there anything you want to tell us about this song? Yeah, here's another one that Randy Anderson, the guy that you just mentioned on the guitar, Mo Randy Anderson on guitar plays this one. Uh, he dug this one up and we put some new lyrics to the Mark Knopfler song. Nice. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, this is Trailer Trash, Christmas by the Pool on the Back Catalog Listening Party. We're going on a holiday now. I'm going to take a little small chalet. Up around the old North Pole where Santa and his crew are so no. in a bathing suit living large in a frozen home saving warm in a plastic dome
trailer <laughs> trash, Christmas by the pool. If that sunny Christmas song doesn't put you in a good mood, then I don't know what. Because it's all the good things. <laughs> Sunshine, pools, Christmas, Christmas everything. So yeah. uh, what a perfect way to kick off the weekend today. Yeah. The back catalog listening party. I, I, might, I might put up my tree this weekend. Yeah, why not? <laughs> It, it seems like uh, there's the no thing to reason do now. not to exactly. <laughs> there and, really uh, isn't. And uh, if folks are again looking for, <laughs> yes, Penny, I agree. If folks are looking for uh, Christmas gifts, uh, might as well stock up now. You know, yeah. for yourself, for your friends and family who might need Christmas a little early, or you just want to stock up now. Uh, you can get them at trailertrashmusic.com. Pick up a one or many copies of the album. Yeah, and friends. it sounds fantastic in our in our yeah. headphones here. For those of you who are listening um, on YouTube, um, it, it it the the full stereo experience is is worth it. Um, so definitely head over to trailertrashmusic.com and pick up your copy. Yeah, oh, I think Nate's trying to say something. Our producer. Okay. Hey, where yeah. am I? Am I you muted? Know, the host is unmuted. <laughs> Good. Uh, thank you. And that's a tribute to the producer. That was Steve Price, our bass mm. player, produced that record. Oh, As great. you know, Steve, yeah, he's a prolific producer. He's been producing a whole bunch of great records around town. He did one for Dan Israel. He did a record. He produced uh, Mary View's new record. And he's produced the Suburbs records, the last two. So, yeah, yeah. Steve Price, great job. Yeah, really <laughs> sounding great. And, again, it captures that live spirit of the band, and uh, in this time where folks, uh, except for, you know, a few select live streams, it's hard to connect with our favorite bands, except uh, through their recordings. And this is a yeah. fantastic way to reconnect with this band. Y- yeah. And you get the liner notes and uh, and the fabulous imagery. And uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, thank you so wow. much, Nate, for joining us today. Thank this you. is such a treat. And uh, so much I want to thank all of you for joining us on YouTube. This is our first week just being on YouTube. So it's so great to see all of you joining us. And if you like the show you can share it with folks um you can uh folks will be able to enjoy the show so share it with your friends and next week uh we have a really great band join us from nashville the wild ponies great americana songwriting and um really great stuff so i'm really excited to have them on the show and then um, I want to thank our Patreon supporters. All these folks help make this show happen as we expand to new platforms so that more people can hear these recordings as we uh, welcome different guests on the show. Penny, and Alinda, Bevan, Connie, Vaughn, Alan, Chris, Alex, Becky, Galen, and Peggy. Thank you so much. And if you want to join our Patreon crew and help support the show, we actually are going to be um, announcing an after party soon, uh, which we do every month. And then a special holiday party. Speaking of the holidays, yeah. uh, we're going to be doing a holiday party for all the Patreon supporters. So if you want to get on board, awesome. feel free. Uh, but mainly go and support Trailer Trash. Great band. They've been doing it for 27 years. And with your help, they're going to keep doing it for 27 more. Yeah. Don't Absolutely. miss don't miss those live streams. We put the uh, link in the comments on YouTube, the hook MPLS.com, um, where you can find all the information about those shows. Yes. Well, and, thank uh, you so much for having me, you guys. This oh, is just wonderful. Nate, this was great. Thank this you, was Mother good Benjo. for the soul. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Anthony. Absolutely. No, and this restores my faith, too. This is great. Awesome. This is really well, great. Say, say yeah. hi to the whole Trailer Trash crew, and uh, we'll see you soon on one of I those sure live will. streams. Awesome. I sure will. Thank you so much. Thanks, folks. Cheers, um, everybody. Cheers. One more cheers to all of you. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next week on the Back Catalog Listening Party. <laughs>